In this video, we will learn about the listview.builder. So, what it is. First of all, let me explain you something. If you want multiple list style inside your list view, you can copy this one. Uh, you can copy the container, sorry. And, oops, control Z. You can copy the container, put the comma, and add as much as you want. So as you can see, more you add, more you will have. Okay, but the thing with that is you need to already know how much you want. But let's say, let's say we have a button and every time we click on this button, we add another list style. Okay, can we do it with this way? Not really, because we cannot tell Flutter, okay, add one because there is already one there and we cannot add another one. But we can use the widget listview.builder for that. So first of all, let's come back with only one of them. Okay. And after that, what we will do is we will change the list view. This one, what we will do is we will copy all this. We will cut it. Sorry for that. And we will say list view dot builder this one, this time. Now, as you can see, we have the item builder. So what, what eat an item builder? It eat a build context and an int. Okay. So we have our item builder and what he want is a function of a build context and an int. Okay. A function, we can create this like that. This is an empty fun. Oops. This is an empty function like this. And then the item builder take a build context and an int as uh, an input. So we put it right here. We say context and int. So int index. Perfect. Now the item builder see a build context. So we will copy this one. And the context is the, the name of the variable. And the type is build context. Then we have a little error saying you need to return something. So inside this one, we will return like that and we will return what we have cut uh, previously. Oh, sorry. So we'll need to rewrite the list tal this time. And when we put the things inside this one, by example, I will rewrap with the container, refactor, wrap with the container. And if you have, again, the, the copy paste, you can just paste it right here because we will rebuild the container with the list style right now. So uh, if you remember, we had a color inside this container, color argument, colors dot um, orange maybe. You can put a comma there, format document, and then the list style will be, um, we will use the Trilling icon widget icons dot developer uh, developer hub device hub. Let's say. Okay. So now, as you can see, the list view dot builder will create a uh, way too much list style. So we can tell Flutter, okay, I want a certain number. We will do that by going at the end of the item builder and it is there and we can add an argument. This one called, so if we go on the top, this one called the item count. And we can say six, by example. And now we will have six of them. I will put a comma and format document so you can see that this is an argument, an argument inside the list view that builder. Okay, so we can re-add the title. So title argument, text widget, and we can say, um, Hello, by example, we can use the um, leading, so leading argument with the icon widget, icons dot, let's say, localization or local activity, any, any icon. And now we have our list tile once again. We can add the subtitle once and say text, 
So text widget and inside we can say subtitle. But you can uh, do this uh, like you want. It's not a problem. Okay, so we have six of them. Now what we can do is if we have a button on the top and we say, okay, add, add a number right here on this one and add seven instead. So we could add list style every time that we click on this button. This is very nice. And let's do it. So first of all, before the build, we will call a variable. So we'll int and it will, we will start at one, by example. And the int will be called um, number equal to one. Then we can say the item count is number instead. So the value number, so it will be one. And then we can add a button. So right here we have our list view dot builder container. Oh, this will be the best thing to show you how to handle uh, the bottom as well. So we will refactor with a column widget. Okay. And as soon as we refactor with the column widget, we have a problem. The problem is because the list view dot builder have an infinite height and the column have an infinite height as well. We have a problem as you can see. Okay. How can we solve this? We can use by example, the, um, right here inside the list view dot builder, we can use the shrink wrap argument. And this one is called as false first. So we will say true. So we will try to wrap as much as possible. Here we go. So now we have it after we can add the button inside the column. So we can say, uh, we will use another button this time. I have told you about the raise it button. We can use the outline button and pretty much like this one. And we have the unpress argument that take an empty function for now. And then we will put the comma and say the child argument that will take inside the text widget. Perfect. And we add the quotation mark and we say, add a list tile like that. We put our, com our comma and format document. Here we go. So when we will click on this button, we will add list tile one after the other. Okay. Let's do that. First of all, we will say inside the unpress, we will need um, to say number is equal to number plus one and, and uh, semicolon. And right now this will not work as you can see. And I want you to think a little bit about it and why this is not working. So try to find it why you can pause it, pause the video. And when you're ready, or if you don't find it, you can continue this video, but try it by yourself. Okay. So now I will tell you why to refresh the screen with a new number. You need to have a state full widget first. Okay. So we will change this for the stateful widget. We will right click on it, refactor with stateful widget. That's good. Next step. We will need to add a set state inside. So by saying this set state, we can rebuild this part of the application and have the new number inside. Here we go. I will format document once again. And now when we click on the button, we had the list style as much as we want. And as you can see, we have the little problem once again with the, um, the height, because we said that we want to shrink this and we don't want to have something very uh, scrollable. And now we will use, uh, we'll need to use once again, the single child scroll view over our column. So we'll right click refactor with the widget and we will say single child scroll view. This one, here we go. And now we can scroll. Oh, we cannot scroll. So I will restart. I think I know the problem. We will restart. We'll go back in the page. We'll add as much as we want. 
we will go down. And now, as you can see, we cannot drag. Okay. I know the problem. The problem is when we press over this uh, list style, it don't want to move. But when we press here, it want to move. We will need to add an argument inside the list builder. So the list view builder. And this one will be the... So we have the um, adding control physics. We use the physics and inside we will use the scroll physics. Scroll physics. So this is pretty picky, but when you know it, you know it. And I will save you a lot of time by searching on the internet. Okay, so you control space and you will add the parent argument inside this and you will say null. That's it. So now we should be able to scroll. So that's good. We can add as many widgets as we want. We can scroll and we can see those widgets. Okay, just before closing this pretty long video, let's add a little tweak. So if you would like to have one orange and one blue, one orange and one blue, how are you going to do that? Okay, if you think you know how to do to handle this situation, Try to do it by yourself once again first. You can pause me right now. And right here, I will show you how to do that. First of all, we will say um, we can go inside the color of the container. We can use something pretty simple by saying number dot is odd. Or we can say uh, is even. So if it is even, then put the colors dot blue and otherwise put the color dot orange. So now I will go back, click here and add tile. Oh, and it's not working. The problem is we will need to call index instead of number. Sorry for that. So we will call index because if we call number, it will always be the the number, the total number of icon of uh, list style. But if we say the index, because this is saying, okay, I will build this widget. I will build each item one after the other. And each item is uh, called with is index. So the first one will be zero. That is even so blue, otherwise orange. And for all those items, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. It was a pretty long one, but a pretty, uh, very nice. So see you on the next one. Bye.